Leo, this is your weekly tarot reading. Let's see what cards are showing up for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. And during this reading, I might come across some uh, pain points. And if so, you can go to my healing for personal development playlist here in the corner. You see an icon, click on it, and you can go to my playlist after watching this video. And uh, this is for Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This may or may not resonate with you. To go to, if you want a t-shirt like this, just click on the link below. You can order them in my webshop. Okay, so yeah. Hmm. Yeah, the dog is barking. Um, what, what did I want to say? Yeah, if you if it doesn't resonate with you, then just check your sun, moon, rising, or Venus signs on my YouTube channel. Because I think everything that comes to you in your life resonates with you, but maybe you don't recognize it, or maybe you watch too many videos here on YouTube already and then, you know, it doesn't work anymore. So, let's see what happened in the past. The Six of Swords in reverse. So you knew that it was time for a change. You knew that the way you thought about something or someone's just not working out. There's, there was a need of changing your view on this person or situation otherwise you couldn't continue with it or otherwise you wouldn't understand what it was all about and I think also with the aid of one to reverse uh, there was definitely also during this week some kind of miscommunication and uh, the feeling that you got is that you almost made it through like you are successful in something I don't say you're not <laughs> yeah Okay, so, but you already think think maybe that you're there, but you're not there yet. It shows up in reverse. You're not there yet, so it could be something successful. It's possible. Also, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse shows up in, in reverse, uh, crossed by the Ten of Swords. So, before cutting out durable opportunities during this week, you need to change your mindset because in the past uh, it feels like you're you're you was you you knew like you had to change your mindset but maybe it didn't really maybe you didn't have the time maybe to, to overthink something or to evaluate something and maybe you had to act directly um, maybe that's also your strength to do something right away about it um, but there's something, there's an opportunity. Someone maybe have been um, being, maybe you felt very insecure over something, and you thought, no, that's not for me. I cannot do this, or you felt uh, maybe someone told you you can't. Well, this is only because of self confidence that you cannot. So I think you have to get over yourself in a way, Leo. To get over yourself. Because I see beautiful cards here showing up for you guys. I mean, Ace of Pentacles, the Sun, the Six of Wands. And the only card that shows up in Upright is the Two of Wands, taking that bold action. And that's something that I think when you're good at. Clarified by Chariot and Reverse and Seven of Swords. Okay, so it might be that you're doing something very fast and you're running, almost running after another person. Like literally or not literally, maybe you really like someone and you are chasing them. But you are really, you want this, you want this. You want something badly. Sometimes if you want something so much, you can't even hear what other people are saying. Or you are missing messages.
But there's a change going on in this other person's life. And it will never be the same for this person after that. There's like huge changes going on for the person. Is this a goodbye? Let's clarify these cards. A lot of cards for you show up as like subconsciously, and I get this already for a while for Leo, uh, because the titles were all like, you know, uh, you don't know what they know and stuff like that. So you, you're, you're, you're not aware of something that this person is aware of. You're not aware of it. It could also be that you are having secrets, that you don't want to speak up about something and that it's becoming a little bit like a chaotic situation because of all these things that are true and are not true. But they are preparing like the great escape. <laughs> And you're chasing them, being very overwhelmed because of this. Chasing someone because of emotions, because you're, you're almost like, no, don't run away. But why? Just think about it. Why is someone running away? It could also be the other way around, that you are the person that's demanding and want someone to stay and then they're running away. You're like, no, stay here. You have to stay here. Someone's preparing the great escape here. Yeah, they they manifest manifest. Mm, it could also be. It doesn't have to be very serious. It could also be like a, someone trying to convince you they are right about this. And when you think it's not, they are like, okay, then then I will show you. This is this is like that. I will show you. Also, I think that you, when you're being very happy with someone, with your partner, or at the situation, at your work, at whatever, uh, I think expressing this happiness is very important. Mm, letting them know how happy you are with them, letting you know, letting them know how much they mean to you. The thing is that with the Queen of Wands in reverse, they might interpret it as manipulative because maybe they already told you they do not want something they do not want this they are not interested so that's why probably in the end of the week there's a cold atmosphere between the both of you because there's something that whatever person they don't want this so what i saw during the last reading, reading is that uh, there was a person that um, was uh, feeling a little bit like forced to do something and maybe you're not agreeing with this but that's what I could read from the tarot reading so it could resonate or not resonate with you but um, this is something they felt forced to do they had to say yes or they had to help you or they had to do something which they actually were not interested in so what's happening right now is that they are like, okay, but now I'm being walked over by just doing it, why I don't want to. So they feel a little bit like abused in a way, maybe. Um, yeah, some, someone's really not happy with this. And this is because there there is like a huge change going on in the other person's side. And I also feel like that understanding of each other, understanding like, um, from each other what you're going to uh, is this, if this is your love relationship it's of course important to know from, from 
for both of you to come together in a way of okay I understand what you're coming from not only saying it but really understanding each other uh, because then there is a connection and if someone really wants something from the other person it's more like consuming each other than it, it's not this is if it's a relationship they are not a service if you want a service just buy it in a shop or just order it or book it pay for it but when it's about a relationship you cannot expect this from another person also they cannot expect this from you for example if someone's forcing you doing something that actually you're not interested in they just have to back off you know this, this is not um this is not okay there's a lot of force in something that you or they are doing there's someone's forcing the other person to do something for them uh, almost making someone your slave or they trying to make you your slave their slave there's something in this that um, it's very unnatural this is so yeah this feels like not a very healthy connection what I can read right now of course I don't know your situation I don't know who you are <laughs> But thank you so much for watching these videos, but I don't know who you are, but I, what I read from these cards, um, I cannot see you, right? <laughs> so, um, but what I read from these cards is that there is really like listening to each other carefully. What is the other person going through? Clarifying, maybe if... A person says something, repeat what they're saying. So you mean this and that. Because there's there's really no there's a lot of illusions at your mind, maybe like, oh I'm very happy with this, this is great, this is so you're very positive in, in something, you're you're thinking very positive about something, but is it really like that? Because I see this person being stressed out, they don't understand where you're coming from, they they're trying to escape and they there's also a huge transformation going on at their in their life so things are changing and this is not something necessarily something bad but this is just changing and maybe it's good to talk about it or to to talk about this or to let each other know to come a little more you know together in this situation instead of only thinking for yourself I want this or that person thinking I want this um, to build a relationship with each other wow great I saw the last time as well clever so there's luck in this you know there it's not only bad it's 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 also there's something very good coming towards you yeah it's about happiness and I think also that you are seeing already you know with your cards but, but um it's good to um It's good to know for sure if the other party is also as happy as you are. Are they as happy as you are? That's what I say. Here, what I get like the flowers for you and for them the cross. I think that um there's something that this person needs so there needs to be more balance in this maybe you get more maybe you don't think you get more but you but during the reading i see you're happy you're you're in a good place you think very positive about this how can you make how can you serve this other person how can you make this person feels like that as well because right now they don't They are not so happy with this, and um, so if this is a love relationship, they are not happy with this. So maybe you are like, hey, I want to buy, we were going to buy that house because I like to have a palace, I like to have everything in white, and that person is saying, yeah, but I don't want to live in a palace, I just want a small house. 
and then they have to live in a palace, but they're very unhappy over there, so... <laughs> yeah, so there's something uh, with... Um, there's something that they need as well. There's some, there's some more balance needed here. So, yeah. And this is not to please anyone. This is for yourself. This reading, this is showing up because probably this connection is very important to you and so you want to maintain this relationship and so you want to make sure they are happy as well. Yeah. Yeah, it could even be yeah something very lucky to you is coming to you. There's something very lucky coming to you. Um, and it's it's probably it could be a gift or it could be um, that you are going to say something nice and friendly towards this person, going to express yourself more towards this person, being very romantically towards this person. But they are getting a little bit stressed out by this. So if you want to know if someone likes you back, I think um, it's not so much about liking. I think this person is going to a huge change. Yeah, and you are always seeing things. That's what I get. You're seeing these things very, very bright, very positive. And of course, you know, it, if it makes you happy and uh, it doesn't really... Uh, Makes sense if you're if you're going to think bad of it, but I think uh, there there's there's a uh, there's just uh, you know this person needs some kind of attention from you, uh, so they need to tell you something or it's not that they need to tell something they probably already have been telling you this, but uh, they they there's something in their lives the cross for them it's about sadness, pain, suffering, guilt. They don't feel really good, like they, this person really doesn't feel good. Um, and it's not to blame on you, I mean this is that person's life, they have responsibility for their own life. But if you want to know like how they are doing, at the moment not so good because they are going through a change. And there's something maybe that they are going to, you know, they maybe they have to leave or maybe they have to move houses or maybe they have to uh, work in a different country or because i see also the night of wands for them and so it could be so if you're prepared already maybe it's not that uh, maybe it's less difficult that they are the atmosphere between, between the both of you it's going to be a little bit more cold maybe for the coming period because yeah, the, if 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 there's not something going to be communicated well, and uh, when when I don't say that you are the only one that should be listening better to the other person, but there's something here going on with that communication. You feel very good, and you maybe want to also, you know, let them lift on your positive vibes. But this person is just not in a good place right now. They are they are going to you change. So there's not much you can do maybe for this person or you feel like there's it's very difficult to to uh, to e to make this relationship equal but the great thing is that for you things are looking very bright and looking very good um, but there's just a lot of confusion you have over this situation so yeah that's what i get for leo i hope this was helpful for you don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and see you next time.